All right, Dustin Ellerman here, and a big question on suppressors is if it, it affects your velocity. Most folks think that it'll disc, decrease your velocity because uh, I guess it was suppressors of the old school design may actually have done that and touched the bullet with rubber wipes or something. I don't know. All I know is that new suppressors um, nowadays, they actually increase your velocity because you're getting a little longer that your bullet is getting inside the pressure and making better use of the powder and the gases that have gone off in the chamber so it's kind of like having a longer barrel we're gonna put that to test today we've got several different caliber of rifles here we're gonna start off from the smallest and go up to the biggest I'm not even sure if we're gonna see a difference in the smaller ones or some of the faster burning powder cartridges but hey that's what we're gonna test out today we've got a chronograph down range a nice overcast day we don't have the hoods on it um, and we're just gonna put a few shots down range we're gonna do a video on accuracy with versus without a suppressor later this one's mainly gonna be on velocity so what we're gonna start off with this is my uh, goodness my Viltor lower with the tactical solutions upper and the we're gonna shoot with the gem tech subsonic ammo uh, so We'll really, of course, be using how we would use this with the suppressor. And uh, we'll put five rounds without, and then we'll put five rounds with. So let's load up and go. All right, without. Just putting them in the berm. All right, that's five rounds. It looks like we're around 1,000 feet per second. Um, forgot to turn on that camcorder down there. Average, a thousand and one. So let's see. We're gonna put the suppressor on. This is the Griffin Armament Checkmate. We're gonna put the suppressor on and see if we got if it's any la uh, faster this time. There we go. Ten twenty-seven. Ten nineteen. Ten thirty-two. Ten twenty-four. Ten oh eight. So, without even doing any math, I know that was a slight bit faster because our lowest wasn't even as fast as our average there. Uh, average was 1022, extreme spread of 24, and standard deviation of 9. So, all those numbers seem better already. All right, so that was a 22. We're going to work our way up. All right, guys, so um, we're going to go ahead and do a little velocity test on 9 millimeters, see if it makes a difference. Uh, probably just a little bit, not enough to make a difference, to make a difference, you know, but it'll, it'll, it'll have a little bit of variation there. Stop laughing. It, it makes a difference, but it's not a big difference. Anyway, cameraman these days. All right, so what we got, we got some Black Hills 115 grain. Super accurate stuff, and it's going to be very consistent. So I'm going with that, um, and uh, it's not the ideal for a suppressor platform because you want subsonic for that. This is not going to be subsonic. But we'll see if we get a difference in difference velocity. All right, I'm going to try to hit the RSR steel from back here, too. It's about, we're about 80 yards, so why not? Five rounds. All right, so five rounds on target at 80 yards, and let's see what our velocity was. It was looking pretty hot. Uh, low is 1255, high 1262. Dang, that's that's right in there. So 1259 was our average extreme spread of six, a standard deviation of three. That's why I like this ammo so much. It's uh, very consistent. Now let's go with the suppressor and see if it gets any faster. All right, so we've threaded on our Griffin Armament Revolution in the long mode. Um, usually on this pistol, I just go ahead and keep it on short, but hey, it was in long configuration earlier, so I just changed my three lug out for the, the piston there. Same ammo, Black Hills. We're gonna try to beat 1259, I think it was. Um, boy, this stuff was accurate. Now with the suppressor, I have noticed a point of impact shift, and I've also noticed an increase of accuracy, and it'll tighten up the groups on these on this gun anyway we're just gonna go for uh, reading in the cranny 1270 1279 1300 1270 boy the blowbacks tough all right uh, boy I, I think I felt it a little hotter too so our average of those shots I think one didn't read 
1281. So we increased the nine millimeter velocity by a good uh, 30 feet per second just by putting it on the suppressor. So yeah, there again, didn't slow it down at all. All right, so now we're gonna use 300 blackout. Uh, we've got just some hand loads of mine. It's 110 grain running at 19 grains of H110. Uh, and we'll put, oh shoot, we'll put five rounds down range without, five down range with. These are gonna be supersonic. And we'll just go from there and see what we get. Um, I might aim at a target, but with the red dot, I'm not gonna get too much precision so we won't have too much measurable accuracy difference if we know point of uh, impact change. All right, going live. Measuring right at 2,000. The muzzle brake is mean. One more. All right, so we're running over 2,000. Uh, our low is at 2,095, high of 2,181. Average, 2134. So that's what we're gonna see. Our extreme spread is 85, standard deviation at 31. Reset and do it again. Mm -hmm. All right, same rounds, same gun. Only difference is the suppressor. All right, I'm not sure if we're gonna see much difference in the first place here because um, a 300 blackout, the powder burns up within nine inches of the barrel. This is 11 and a half inch barrel, so it may not make a difference, I don't know. Uh, but let's see, we're looking at, uh, two, that was the low, the high was 2205 average. That's what we're after, 2147. I do not remember what we went through last time, so we're just gonna have to compare that. Extreme spread of 140 is pretty rough, and a standard deviation of 52. I may should have used some other stuff besides my blasting ammo, but we're just gonna continue on. We got plenty of guns to work with. All right, now we have the CMMG, the, their Mutant 47K, short one, it's gonna be a slick SBR rig. Uh, we got the EOTech uh, mini red dot side on here, um, some Tula junk ammo. Um, yeah, we'll see what we get. Awkward. 21. 21, 36. 22. 21. 21, 48. All right, so let's see what our average is. Average of 21, 58. All right, CMMG Silencer Co. Saker. Second verse, same as the first, just not as loud. All right, put my arm in here because this thing does buck a little bit, on, especially when just on these bags. Here we go. Oh, that's much better. Wow, that's so much more consistent. I was seeing almost the same numbers up there on the chronograph. Uh, the low is 2159, high of 2193. Average 2175, so just about 20 feet per sec second different faster. Extreme spread of 34. All right, let's move on. Next, 223. All right, so now we've got 223. Where this is the Adams Arms AR. I uh, won this at a three gun match once, uh, but I was really wanting it because you can change for suppressor or non suppressed because you know you'll get the gas out when you have a suppressor on and it blows all that gas back in your face. So you cut it down to a 45 degree angle right there up in the piston and and you get much less blowback. Uh, so we're gonna put it back on unsuppressed for right now. We've got some Angel uh, Fire Remanufacture 55 grains that we're gonna use. And uh, yeah, we're gonna put five downrange both ways. Here we go. And then there's that buffer sticking up again. That's gonna need to be looked at. Wow. There we go. All right, it's five. Let's see what it was doing. Average of uh, 2968. So 2968, let's put the can on and see if it gets any better. 
All right, so this is the Gemtech Trek. Uh, I've had this suppressor, I think it was my first suppressor I got. Um, it's short and it's, it's, it's solid. It's just a thread on, it's very simple. It's like 500 bucks or something. Um, so same ammo, we're gonna adjust our piston setting to shoot with suppressed and have at it. Same stuff, let's do it. Much better. All right, so that one, low, high, average, 29.57. I didn't see much of an increase or decrease in that one. So we'll just keep rolling. All right, so now one of my favorite rifles, LaRue Tactical OBR Top Shot Edition. This is actually one of the ones we got to use on the show. Um, another reason I like it, it's just got, it's got that suppressor switch. So we, we have uh, the gas system cut off, so we didn't get as much blowback. So this is my multitasker's tool. I remember this by going left L for loud. And so I'm gonna knock the, uh, the switch back over. There we go. Now we're for loud, so we have full cycle in bolts. Um, we'll put suppressor on afterwards. Uh, we've got some Winchester match uh, 168 grains that we're shooting today. Um, let's do it. Five rounds off, five rounds on. Let's get on in there and see what we got. Oh, it's still set up for shooting 1,200 yards in New Mexico. And that trigger's nice. It's that MBT trigger. All right, they're right beside each other. All right, so we're running around 25, it looks like. Uh, high is 25, average 24.95, so right below 2,500. Extreme spread. All right, so we have the OBR set up with our Gemtech Sandstorm suppressor. It's got a Manta wrap on it, and that wrap really helps on a on a precision rifle when you're shooting under optics. When you shoot, goodness, probably half a mag, you know quickly, you're going to heat up your suppressor and you get a mirage. So that helps dissipate that a little bit and keep it insulated. Um, it also helps you from not burning your hand on it or bumping your leg or whatever. Uh, so we're set up for the can. Still got the Winchester match. See if we can get five rounds red. There we go. 25-15. 25-16. See. All right, so we're going 15 feet per second faster, but of course that was only two rounds because it didn't read the rest, but that just sucks. Uh, let's just go ahead and get on the Savage 338 Lapua. All right, so now we have the big boy out. This is the Savage 338 Lapua, the 110 BA. Um, I've got Winchester match, 250 grain uh, rounds going down range. I've never even shot this one without the suppressor on it. Normally it comes with a huge muzzle brake. Well, today's not a normal type of day. We're going to see what happens. All right, sure hope that chronograph reads everything. Get me away from it in case it moves. Woo, buddy! All right, 29.42 and a big flume of dirt popped up back there. Twenty-nine seventy-five. One more and then we're gonna put the can back on. Crazy. 2951. Uh, all right, so we've got the uh, the Lead Irons 338 suppressor back on the Savage. Um, that was brutal without it. So this will be a little bit better. It'll be a little more enjoyable. So, all right, we beat we beat 3,000 feet per second. We're obviously firing faster than uh, with the suppressor than without. Here we go. All right, a little shove, but not bad. All right, 2974. All right, 2968. So that looks, well, the other one was 2915. Uh, 
so we're at average of 29.68 so it's increased I mean not too noticeably if you're doing precision shooting you're gonna want to know with suppressor and without suppressor but you know as for the whole suppressors slow down your velocity not at all if anything they they increase it so yeah that's about it so y'all just uh, y'all shoot straight